Right guys, someone asked me today if I could do a review on the Ironmaster Superbench Pro. Since there's lots of reviews on the Superbench, but nothing available on the Superbench Pro. So yeah, we do exactly that and do a quick review. I would say we start off with a few specs first. So the weight capacity of the bench when flat is a thousand pounds. It's 600 when on an incline. Um, we've got um, 11 back adjustments available from zero degrees all the way to 85 degrees. The back pad, sorry, that's my dog drinking. <laughs> the back pad is 10.5 inches wide. The bench is now significantly lower. It's 17.2 inches tall, which puts it uh, within the uh, powerlifting specs for bench pressing. And the back pad is 44 inches long. The footprint of the bench is 20.75 inches by 47 inches. And the weight of the bench is 64 pounds and 68 with the little seats, uh, sorry, seat uh, used on the bench. So the Superbench Pro had a few updates. The, like I said, the height changed now from 20 inches, I think it was, which was quite high for most people. Um, yeah, now to 17.2, which is equivalent to a normal flat bench. Also, most people were complaining about the pad being too soft. So they updated that now. It's a, yeah, totally updated um, pet, the foam, the foam is different. The bench now also comes with the wheels standard, so you don't have to buy the wheel kit anymore. And as you can see, like the front and back leg used to be, that cross member used to be the same size. Now the back one is actually a little bit wider, which increases the stability of the bench also. Let's show it quickly. It's on the wrong side. Um, if you remember, the adjustment on the old bench used to be one pin that slides in and is the adjuster, where this one now has the pin separate to the adjustment. What that does with that adjustment being on the corner, it eliminates the wobble on the attachments. Now, I don't have any attachments, but um, plenty of people were complaining about the dip or that um, if you're familiar with the chin up bar attachment wobbling by having this adjustment in the corner rather than on the side it yeah, eliminates that problem so i also noticed that this changed from a sort of a smoother finish to a nice black powder coat which is similar to the modern power racks you know that sort of matte black Finish, which is great, and it also says now Iron Master Superbench Pro on the um, backpack. Yeah. Okay. Not sure you guys are probably familiar with the seat. So we have two options. You stick your seat in there, and you can adjust it from like this is 85 to zero. There's 11 increments for adjustment. And if you want it as a flat bench, you simply take out that little seat. Like so. What else can I tell you about this bench? Yeah, when the bench comes, all you need, it's basically pre-assembled. Everything you see here. All you need to do is put the four bolts in those two and those two with two 19 millimeter spanners I believe and that's it everything's done for you you also notice 
that this is now a different shape. Instead of a half circle, which allows that bench to be a bit um, lower. Yeah, like I said, we now have two adjustment points instead of three. And in the upright position, that um, translates to 12.5 inches or 14.5 inches off the ground. Now, that bench is great for incline, great for flat benching. What I will have to say, if you put it all the way up to the 85 degrees as a chair, like so, then the taller guys might find that a bit close to the ground. So what I do, since I've got some deadlift blocks, I put that whole bench on my, I'll just show you, on my deadlift blocks, which is five inches high. And that for me is absolutely perfect if I wanted to do seated shoulder press. You don't have to, but it's just my legs are quite long. So to me, it's, um, it's a bit nicer, I can show you that quickly. Yeah, just rather than sitting all the way down here. It doesn't, it's still, it's still fine. But since I have the blocks, I use them. Um, okay, what else can I tell you about this bench? I quickly do a comparison to my commercial flat bench, and then you see the difference. Now, here we go. That's the commercial flat bench. And what you see is a um, slight difference in the th thickness of the pad maybe, which is not that significant. And keep in mind the Iron Master pad is a bit um, denser now. So, that's the width. So yeah, you notice that the Iron Master bench is 10.5 inches wide. Whereas the IPF spec one is 12. So if that's something that bothers you or makes a difference to you, that's something to keep in mind. The other thing that they updated is the legs are wider now. They used to be two by two, I believe. Now they're um, three by two. So they make them a bit beefier, which is great. And there is no wobble, no nothing. Like people keep asking me, is it solid? Does it, do you feel any wobble? Do you feel, no, absolutely nothing. That thing is solid as a tank. Question, would I buy it again? Absolutely, yes, I think it's great. I mean, I have a commercial flat bench now and I will keep that, possibly. <laughs> um, but otherwise, this could be a one and only bench and I think it would do a pretty, pretty great job in doing so. Now, why did I choose the Iron Master Super Bench over other light commercial or commercial um, Incline benches, like I wanted to do a few incline um, exercises, so I left it for almost a year to do research and find a incline bench that suits me and the space that I have. So when they released, they released that one in the updated iMaster bench in December 2018. And simply the size is the key factor for me. Like, first of all, you have absolutely no gap when you take that little, that little seat out. And it's just, like I said, the size is equivalent to a IPF spec um, flat bench, which is great. So that means you can tuck this thing away everywhere. It doesn't have a handle but that's no issue at all. You simply 
grab it like that and wheel it around or put it upright or whatever you want to do. Sorry, it's a bit hard with one hand in the camera. Yeah, so not an issue at all. What else can I tell you about this bench? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If I forgot anything, please um, write it in the comment section if you need any more measurements or anything like that. But I think the value for money is absolutely great. The quality is absolutely great. The locking mechanism is spot on. The wheels are great. There is no wobble. It is a great quality bench. It even looks very, very nice with the stitching and everything. Plus, it is really a space-saving bench. So definitely something to consider if you're in the market for a incline bench or you mainly want a flat bench, but maybe you're thinking of, oh yeah, I would like to do some incline exercises, then that's probably the bench for you. Like I said, the only thing I could see as a downside is the width of the pad. So like I said, this is a little bit wider, 12 compared to 10.5 inches. By the way, if you want any of those measurements converted, just times them by 2.54 and that will turn it into centimeters if you're in Europe or somewhere else. So that's the bench where I park it up basically, just there and you see it's like takes up hardly any space. The other thing that some people say is, oh, that um, little seat is always 90 degrees to the bench if you do an incline or so. That's correct. But if you do a incline bench press at the gym on a fixed station, incline bench station, it's the same thing. It's always 90 degrees and you adjust your height of the little seat that way. So that's exactly the same story which yeah, it is, it is perfect and solid. I hope this helps and yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.